Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. In today's video, we'll be coming at you from downtown Las Vegas where we'll be checking out a popular local breakfast joint, Baby Stacks. Known for their array of pancakes with a variety of flavors as well as other made from scratch breakfast favorites, Baby Stacks Cafe has developed a healthy local following and grown to eight locations across the Vegas and Henderson areas. We love us some pancakes and we're thrilled to check out Baby Stacks for the first time. So don't go anywhere. We've got a lot to show you on today's Griddle Fried episode of James and Paul I'll try it all. So we've just got sat down at our table here at Baby Stacks and we've got the restaurant to ourselves right now. Now granted, this is the downtown location of Baby Stacks right across from the Las Vegas City Hall. It's the middle of the week, a lot of people are working. So we think we picked a good time to come to a YouTube video so we're not disturbing anyone. Now in today's video, we're gonna try and show you as much as we possibly can. Obviously Baby Stacks is known for their pancakes. So we're gonna get like at least three different types of pancakes to show you what they offer, plus a few different breakfast plates as well. Don't go anywhere, we've got so much to go over in just a few short moments. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that I love Bloody Marys. And frankly, we were up late last night, we were drinking, so what better way for me to start my morning than a Bloody Mary? Let's give it a shot. Let me give it a nice little lick of the rim here. Mmm, spicy. Ooh. Not bad, okay. It's your standard Bloody Mary. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not mind blowing. Is it gonna beat you know, our winner of Best Bloody Marys in the Las Vegas Strip video? Probably not. It does the job. It was 10 bucks. I can't complain. That being said, we're not here for Bloody Marys. We're here for pancakes. And those are coming up. We've ordered three different types of pancakes. We've each ordered a breakfast entree. So I'm really excited because I'm starting to get hungry. So I can't wait to show you everything. Five minutes later. All right, everyone. So they brought out all of our food at once. This food looks delicious. I am gonna go ahead and start off with this loco moco that I ordered. Now, if you have watched our other breakfast video, then you'll know that loco moco is essentially a beef patty with a fried egg and gravy on top of rice. It is a Hawaiian dish. Just let's take a look at how beautiful this runny egg is on that plate. I'm quite happy. Now I went with the garlic rice upgrade for $2. And if you have the option to add garlic to something, just do it. First things first, there's a big punch of garlic flavor in that rice. I am quite happy with that. This beef patty, perfectly well cooked. Nice runny egg, goes right into the gravy. And just when everything pairs well together, this is the perfect breakfast. So meaty. It is, it's meaty. It's amazing. The garlic rice sets it over the top. I might have to start making garlic rice when I do it at home. One thing I want to point out about the little plate here, they garnish it with a little orange wedge. <laughs> How cute is that? So we're gonna finish off, I'm gonna finish off this loco moco and let's turn over to James and see what he has to say about his entree. My turn. I went with one of my favorite breakfasts of all time and that is a good old fashioned country fried steak. What's better than a beef cutlet pounded out, covered in batter and fried, and then of course, up with gravy. Let's give this a shot. Seems nice and crispy. Gravy's nice and thick, just the way I like it too. Nothing worse than a watery country gravy. All right, big pieces of sausage in there, from what I can tell. That was not the most graceful bite, but that was delicious. Perfectly seasoned. I think the gravy is just delicious. Got a nice strong pork flavor to it. Nice little bit of salt to it. The country fried steak is crispy and delicious and beefy. It's really good, actually. Now let's try these seasoned potatoes here. I'm gonna go sans ketchup, even though I am a big ketchup guy when it comes to any type of potato. Great solid breakfast potato. Nice little bit of paprika, salt. Love it. Glad I went with those over the hash browns. Last but not least, let's just take a little bite of the sunny side up egg. Let's go straight for some the egg white here first. Nice little crispy edges, just the way I like it. Not a single thing wrong with that. All in all, country fried steak is solid. I recommend it. Now, let's turn it back over to Paul as we start tucking into these pancakes here. 
Hi there, everyone. I really hope that you're enjoying today's video. If you are, please consider taking a moment to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to ring the bell icon for notifications whenever a new episode of James and Paul Try It All is released every Saturday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. These small actions mean the world to us and really help our videos be seen by more viewers just like you. Now, back to the episode. All right, everyone, it is pancake time. And I decided to upgrade my Loco Moco with a baby stack, which is going to be their ube pancakes. Now, these are ube pancakes with a little bit of an ube drizzle and some macadamia nuts on top. Now, they also come with a cream cheese syrup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of the cream cheese syrup on the side here. And let's go ahead and take a little bite. Now, these look very sweet. They look decadent. They look decadent and sweet, yeah. Normally, I'm not into sweets, but I do love ube. So, actually, that's perfect. They're sweet, but they're not too sweet. You get a lot of that ube flavor that comes through, which is, it's a different kind of sweet. If you're not familiar with what, I, what ube is, it's essentially a purple yam. Yeah, exactly. It's almost kind of like having a, it's almost like sweet potato pie, but it's starchy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But less, less naturally sweet. Exactly. So I think it gives well balance to these pancakes. Now I will say with the cream cheese icing, that will set it over the top so your diabetes can be a little bit. <laughs> Take your insulin. Check your own blood sugar and check it often. I'm quite glad I went with the stack. With that, I'm gonna turn it over to James so he can share the other pancakes we got. All right, we're gonna try our, their most popular selling pancake, the red velvet pancakes here. Once again, got a little bit of the cream cheese syrup here. Looks like got some chocolate chips, some whipped cream, a little dusting of cocoa powder. Look at that just beautiful right, bright red color. Be a little bit more delicate about this. I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a little bit of this. We're gonna do a little dunky dunk into the cream cheese syrup. That's sweet enough to give you a toothache, but not in a bad way. Like if you read like red velvet, these are quite good. It definitely does remind me of eating red velvet cake. I think it doesn't have quite the same tang that the red velvet cake traditionally has from the vinegar, but this is still really good. The cream cheese icing gives it that, that little bit of tang, rem you know, rem reminiscent of the cream cheese frosting. I can see why this is a popular seller. I mean, red velvet's a popular flavor anywhere, so definitely worth checking out, especially if you've never had red velvet pancakes at any point in your life. I know I have. I just can't think of where. I don't know if this would be my first go-to though. It's great, but I am very much more of a pancake purist. So that being said, we're actually gonna move straight on into our third stack of pancakes. We've got a short stack here of bacon pancakes. And I know I just said I'm a pancake purist, but what's more pure than pancakes and syrup and bacon? It's just more lovely. And look at all that bacon that they put on there for us. Beautiful golden brown pancakes. Let's give it a little shot here. We're just gonna go in from the side. And I think just for simplicity's sake and not making a mess, we're gonna do the exact same thing we did with the other one. We're just gonna do a little dunky dunk, do a little drizzle over here. All right. These have a classic buttermilk pancake flavor. That little bit of tang for the buttermilk, very light. I think you can maybe use a little bit more vanilla in the batter, but that's just me personally. If you don't like a sweet, sweet pancake, I think these are gonna be really good. The bacon's obviously great. Can't go wrong with bacon pan pancakes in my mind. Though there are some people out there, and I know, that just don't like syrup with their breakfast meats. I personally never got that. That's always been a thing for me, but hey, to each their own. I will happily take my breakfast meat syrupy if you don't want. Yes. You should probably try these ube pancakes. Mm. If you found the red velvet ones a little too sweet, go ahead and give these a try. All right. I'm gonna try the ube ones. These look delicious. But there's a lot of everything on this. Paul's absolutely right. These are delightful. They are sweet without being without being super sweet, without being overpoweringly sugary. The macadamia nuts add a little crunch to it, and everything just kind of works really well together. The cream cheese frosting, icing, whatever you want to call it, uh, syrup adds just a nice little bit of tang on the end there, an extra sweetness. I think these are my favorite, actually. These are good. I'm gonna have to take these back before I eat them all. Anyway, folks, don't go anywhere. We'll be back in just a few short moments with our final thoughts on Baby Stacks. <laughs> all right, my friends, I have to say, I think we really enjoyed Baby oh, Stacks. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. So many good pancakes. Yeah, absolutely. This was a wonderful breakfast option that, you know, isn't something that you find on the Vegas Strip or even in, in the, like, the Fremont area. I can't even see why this is a really popular local breakfast joint. And I can definitely see why they're popular because that was not only delicious, it, I'd say it was affordable. Very affordable, we, actually. We got three fancy stacks of pancakes, two really hearty breakfasts, a Bloody Mary for around 60 something 
something bucks? Yeah, about 68. Yeah, so, okay, a lot of people are gonna be saying, well, that's expensive. Yes, but this isn't Denny's. Let's just be honest, it's not Denny's. Yeah, it's local, it's local food. Mm -hmm. And it is 2024, inflation in the United States is higher than it's ever been. So frankly, I think this was a pretty good deal. Oh, yeah. It's a very great value. To yeah, be I think two. I think two people could easily get away for under fifty bucks for for breakfast or less. I do also want to give a quick shout out to our server Ashley, who was absolutely just fantastic. Took great care of us. Overall, our entire experience here at Baby Stacks was awesome. And I think Paul and I both would recommend this. Oh, I would recommend it and come back. Yeah. Now, and if you are staying in the downtown Fremont area, you can walk here easily from Plaza. Just walk south on Main Street, mm -hmm. and it. Is right here, located right by the parking garage south of Plaza. I maybe wouldn't consider doing it in the middle of summer. I might like to you know, take an yeah. Uber or whatnot. Um, it's not like it's a super long walk, but if you have mobility issues or if it's stupid yeah. hot, it's not a short walk. Let's put it that way. I think it's time to wrap this up. Yes, so guys, is. if you enjoyed today's video, be sure and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to ring the bell icon for notifications whenever a new episode of James and Paul Try It All is released every Saturday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, where we feature more food, fun, travel, from Las Vegas and beyond each and every week. And I do want to say thank you so much for all of the support of the channel. On that note, though, have a great one. Have a great one, guys. Until next week.